of your ways and all mine. Not yours or mine. Isn't it great, God? Nothing is in this great. But he is for this place. And God and I are. He is in our time. Put your hands right up for this young lady. Come on, scream for you. Amen. Somebody say amazing. Even though who is for this place, talk to somebody prophetically. Professor, he's so on time, brother. Don't give up, don't give up. He does not wear a watch. He has his own watch. Not the watch of this world. With him, nothing is impossible. It's not over until he says it's over. Praise the Lord. Somebody's amazing. He said, go ye. Everyone said, go ye. John 15, verse number 16. There's another go ye there. John 15, 16. I love it. John 15, 16. Are you ready to read it? Ready, Pastor? I'm going to read Ready, go. Ye have not chosen me. Uh huh. But I have chosen you. Uh huh. And ordained you. Uh huh. That you should go and bring forth. That ye should do what? Go. And that somebody said, he said go. He says go. He didn't say sit. He didn't say sit. So the gospel is not sitting. It is going. So we have to be going. Yes. Tell to someone that this year we have to be going. This year. Tell to someone that this time we have to be going. This time we have to be going. Oh, I wish the whole world is listening to this conference. I wish the church everywhere is here to know. The God is saying that go ye. Amen. And when we go, he said that go ye and do what? Uh -huh. And bring forth fruits. Uh -huh. And that's your food should be me. So I come. I mean, on Sunday, when I have another slot, I'm going to deal with something very important. Amen. And it's called discipleship and cell meeting. That's what he's talking about. That the fruit should remain. So evangelism is twofold. Go ye and bring fruit. But when you come, some people must work that the fruit will be stay. Who are those people? So we'll talk about the cell meeting and the discipleship. Amen. Make sure you come on Sunday and uh, hear this word. I know tomorrow. We are having a great service with another man of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Point number five, I wish I can finish. Help me finish it. Are you staying awake? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Okay. Go yourself and send others to go. Point number five. Go yourself and send others to go. And that's the reason why I gave you that book. The Heaven and Hell book. If you have not gotten one, please get one. When you read it, it will propel you to go and serve others. The man of, the, that man, the Korean man, his, his revelation really, really touched me. And from that time going, I'm involved. I know the tolerance of is listening. I'm involved in his crusade, so hallelujah. Sometimes it will be at Cape Coast. I'll go there with my own transportation and fuel. And support him. Minister in songs. And other things to support him. Without taking anything. Because I'm, I'm doing something for reward. And I'm involved sometimes. But I create uh, missionary missions. And so many other people who are going. So you are a pastor. You are sitting here. Don't say that it's only my church. Don't be selfish about it. The kingdom is only one. Yes, sir. There's only one temple in heaven. Once. Forget about ah. decisions. Praise the Lord. Luke 15, 7. If one soul repents, there is a commotion in heaven. Angels rejoice. The host of heaven rejoices over a soul. So, then, Immediately happened.
friends, they will trace the source of the soul. Who made it happen? So a man was asked, when you go to heaven, whom will you appreciate? He said, the first one I appreciate is our Lord Jesus Christ for making salvation possible. Mm. If not so, the preacher is not important. He made it possible. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Then, he said, who will you look for again? He said, then I will look for the preacher man that came to my village and preached the gospel and said, whoa, well done, preacher man. Had it not been you, I would have gone to hell. Then he said, who will you look for again? He said, then I will look for the one that sponsored the preacher man to come to where I was. Praise the Lord. Amen. Some of you are sitting here, but in heaven, some people will look for you and say, thank you. Thank you. For making it possible. So turn to somebody and say, go and at the same time send. Turn to somebody from today, go in. Have your eyes on the rewards. Point number six. Jesus, the master soul winner. Jesus, the master soul winner. I'm sharing with you ten things and now I am at point number six. Jesus is our example. Learn from the master soul winner. Turn to somebody and say, learn from the master soul winner. Give me only one chapter. John 1, let's read from 29. See how Jesus wants us. That guy is a master soul winner. Are you here? Are you here? Yes. Look at it. Let's read together. Ready, go. The next day, John see Jesus coming unto him uh -huh. and said, uh -huh. Behold the Lamb of God, we take it away the sins of the world. Ah, uh, John also spoke something on. He said, This is God. God's sheep walking. <laughs> God's, God's animal. But this animal is not a legal one for the nation of Israel, but a mega one for the whole world. Uh, it was just a simple witness. And it got some people born again. The people believed his word. Continue, yes? Uh huh. And this, this is he of whom I said. After he cometh a man which is preferred before me, uh -huh. for he was before me. Faster, faster, faster. Uh -huh. And I knew him not, uh -huh. but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore am I come baptizing oh, with water. Oh, I came that he will be manifest to the world. The reason of your existence is to manifest Jesus to the world. John knew his job. Continue. And John bear record, uh -huh. saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove. Who told you John? I heard someone say John never saw a vision. He never prophesied. He said before he happened to do God's work, God gave him a vision and he saw that a dove was landing on top of somebody. Continue. Uh -huh. And it abode upon him. And he stayed on him. Uh -huh. And I knew him not. But I didn't know that man. Uh huh. But he that sent me, but the one that sent me said, uh -huh. the same said unto me. He said to me, Upon whom thou shalt see the, the spirit day you will see a dove coming upon somebody and remaining on him and stay on him. The same is he. That man is the Christ. We the baptize him with the Holy Ghost. But he who baptizes the Holy Ghost, you will baptize with water. Ayabaha. And I call? saw. Uh -huh. And I bear record uh -huh. that this is the Son of God. That's why I say this one is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Wow. wow. Continue, yes. Again the next day after John 2. After seeing the, the next day and two of his disciples, not knowing the good news he said about Jesus, made for his own <laughs> disciple, he lost two of them. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, uh -huh. he said, uh -huh. Behold, that's the lamp of God. He's proclaim again. Behold the lamp of God. <laughs> and the two disciples heard him speak. Uh -huh. And for the Jesus. Jesus left him forever. That is sad. Then Jesus said, But the man understood. He said, He must increase. I must decrease. Amen. 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 May your flesh decrease. Yeah. May Jesus increase in you. Amen. May the gospel increase. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. 
Then Jesus turned uh -huh. and saw them following. Jesus saw them do what? Following. Uh -huh. And saying unto them, What uh -huh. seek ye? Jesus is interesting. They said unto him, The Rabbi, Rabbi, which is to say, uh -huh. being interpreted, Master, Master. where dwelleth thou? Where do you live? <laughs> For those of you who say that, uh, the, the, the bears have a place to lay their head, but the Son of Man have no place he had. He told them what? He said unto them, uh -huh. Come and see. Come and see. So he had a place to stay. Okay. Rent the place and stay and stop <laughs> quoting Jesus as your <laughs> classmate and roommate. <laughs> Amen. Okay. They came and saw when he said, In fact, Jesus is coming. There's no need to build the house. Even the Son of Man has no place to lay. He said, Please. If you have no place to lay your head, he said, Amen. Jesus had a place. Amen. Amen. Then he said, Come and see. And he said, Come and see. And they came and they saw where he dwelt. dwelt and and abode with him the whole day. Even he has a spare room for them. <laughs> Amen. Turn to somebody and say, Get a spare room. Get a spare room. You may get a visitor. Get a visitor. Amen. Amen. Today, the world wants Christians to be poor. But Jesus was not poor. They called and said he became poor. Please come to the Bible school. Let it teach you when he became he became poor for only one day. When he was hanging on the cross. He was a needy. He needed everything, including a cup of water he couldn't afford. That was when he became poor for us to be rich. So while he was working here on it, he was a rich man. Who required a treasure to count his money? Yes. And the treasure was a thief, yet it didn't affect him. <laughs> and the Bible said, and they were in the ship, and a little ship followed them. Look at that. They were having not only one ship, another ship was following them. What are you talking about? What are you saying? What are you, saying? You, you have a treasure, your man and so kind. <laughs> but he had one. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So he became poor only one day, so that through that poverty we become rich. Amen. Amen. They came and saw where he dwelt and bore with him day or day. For it was about the tenth hour, which is around four p.m. Praise the Lord. Continue. On. Yes. While the two which heard John speak uh -huh. and followed him was Andrew, Simon, Simon. Peter's brother. Simon so Peter. one of the two that saw him, Andrews was following John the Baptist before and came to follow Jesus. Amen. So now Jesus has gotten one follower and another. Simon will come. Now look at something. From here going, something is about to change. Who brought Andrews by the witness of John? Andrews has now come to follow Jesus. But immediately Andrews became born again. Let's assume that. He went looking for somebody to bring to Jesus. Wow. Wow. How they were. Today we are all like that. So let's see Andrews now. Uh -huh. He first found his own brother Simon uh -huh. and said unto him, uh -huh. We have found the Messiah, oh, yeah. which has been interpreted at Christ. So he witnessed to his brother. Let's see whether he will also believe. Uh -huh. And he brought him to Jesus. He did what? Brought him to Jesus. We don't bring men to ourselves. We don't say, Come to me. We say, Come to Jesus. Wow. There's only a generation that are calling people for themselves. Bram and Chai. Zero two zero. Bram. Praise God. Amen. He brought you to Jesus. And what did Jesus be? He said, Thou art what? Simon. The son of the Lord. Jonah. Thou shall be called. Sephas. Sephas. Which is by name? Interpretation. A stone. Upon this stone, I will build my church. That day, from day one, he knew him before he responded. Wow. He said, when I'm going, I'll leave the church to wow. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's see. Continue. The following day, Jesus will, sorry, the following, Jesus will go forth into Galilee uh -huh. and find that Philip. Jesus himself found that who? Philip. Whilst others were bringing souls to him, himself was also winning souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He found Philip, uh -huh. and, said unto him, and he said unto him, "Follow me." Do what? Follow me. You know Jesus is still saying, "Follow me yes. through your mouth," yes. because he lives in you. Yes. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Uh -huh. Continue. 
Now Philip was of Bethsheba, uh -huh. Bethsaida, uh -huh. the city of Andrew and Peter. Since that city, he picked so many disciples from there. Yeah. Three disciples from one city. Uh -huh. yes. Philip finded Nathaniel. And Philip also, immediately he was warm. Uh -huh. He went looking for Nathaniel. Oh, today's Christian. Oh, Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> Somebody said they were apostles. Were they apostles? They were the Philip. They were Christians. It took them a long time to be apostles. Three wow. years and a half years later. Wow. Wow. But they were looking for others. He found Nathaniel and said unto him, huh. We have found him. The master. Nathaniel is that soul you can win easily. Yes. <laughs> that guy, there are still souls who have not come to Christ. And it will take more than Jesus will love him to bring them. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes. And that was how Nathaniel was like. He found Nathaniel said unto him, We have found him. Of whom Moses uh -huh. in the law uh -huh. and the prophet did write. Uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth, uh -huh. the son of Joseph. Listen to what he was saying. And Nathaniel said unto him, uh -huh. Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? You people don't read history. <laughs> you think that my many graphic that always I have in my back is for nothing. <laughs> I've been reading history closely. Uh, Nazareth, yeah, what can I say, Nazareth? Ah, I the Would you follow me to the Lord. Ah, yeah, for me, Would you me to be every Nazareth Because I've read the history. All that that come from there are famous. And Philip said unto him, uh -huh. Come and see. Anyway, with all your argument, you still come and <laughs> and this teaches us a very great principle. Mm -hmm. Philip could have argued with him and win the argument and lose the soul. Yes. Turn to somebody and say, don't, don't win the argument. Don't win the argument. And lose the soul. Lose the soul. Still bring the soul to Christ. Still bring the soul. Anyway, what we are saying may be true or not, let's go and see. That was powerful. Oh. So he brought him. Let's continue. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him uh -huh. and say it of him. Wait. He said, Jesus knows how to win us. So this, yeah. I will. Oh, may we learn from him. Yes. Do you know that when you are full of the Holy Ghost, you say things that are not written in the Word of God, yes. but you say things rightly to get hooked. Yes. People. And your words are so powerful that they follow you. I don't know what is it that you should say. The Bible says we should not even think of what to say. What should we say? Shall we give it to us? Yes. Jesus saw the guy and he knew the guy is a critical guy. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the best way to win such a soul is to praise him. Let him have the day. <laughs> so his head will become big. So Jesus saw him and said, Behold, here comes an Israelite. An Israelite. Indeed. In whom you know, there's no guy. There is no deception at all. This guy, he's the right guy. <laughs> hey, he knows me. Hey. Look at what he said. Continue, sir. Now tell us, sir. Now tell us, sir. Where's the way down me? Hey, you know me well. <laughs> you know me well. I believe you. You are a prophet. We are deep. We are deep. Amen. Oh, then oh, Jesus said to him, Jesus said to him, ah. Huh? Before thou Philip called thee, uh -huh. when thou was under the fig tree, uh -huh. I saw thee. Woo! Prophet! Huh? Then Philip called me in that town. You were here. And he knew I was standing at the fig tree. We all do. Praise the Lord. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Rabbi, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. I believe you are the hope of Israel. Hallelujah. Let them win the day. Hallelujah. And then we don't like it with them. Amen. Amen. So within a short time, many souls have come to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Did you hear that one? Yes. Tell to somebody say the master so winner. The master so winner. Amen. 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 51. And he said unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. hereafter ye shall see heaven open. There's a personal revelation to me that from today when you see heaven open. And the angels of 
God has sent and he sent it uh -huh. upon the Son of Man. Amen. And did he saw it by all by himself. That heaven was open and he saw Jesus. The intention of God. Jesus knew that he required something more to stay in him. And he opened his eyes to see that indeed it is the Messiah. Amen. Yeah. And that is the work of the Holy Ghost to those who will preach the gospel. He will confirm it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Luke 10. 38. Jesus, the master soul winner. Quick. Luke 10. 38. Jesus was a he loved souls. And that is the traces of Jesus is in me. I love it. Because sometimes when I'm walking, the same as Jesus was. Look at what he did. Ready? Go. Now it came to pass, uh -huh. as they went, uh -huh. that he entered into a certain village. Look at that. And a certain woman named Martha received him unto her house. Jesus knew how to engage people in talking so that he can wound them. There's a woman. Wow. How pretty you are. Do you know that the way into every man's or woman's heart is through praise? Pretty woman. You'll get the attention. Amen. So Jesus engaged her in talking and followed her to her house. That is why there was in 1994 when I was preaching here, circle. This week I'll show you that picture of 1994 and you see the crowd you will never believe. Not hundred, in thousand, 1994. And when I was preaching at circle here, there was a Muslim that comes to preach after me. Was it Jesus Christ? No one prayed. No one prayed. Any matter. It was just a bad weekend. And they quoted this place and said, "I was going to go and buy." He followed this woman to the house, not because he wanted to have an affair with her. He wanted to win her. And I'm going to show you. He did not only win the one that he followed. We want everybody in the house because he's a master so we know. Let's continue to read. Uh -huh. And she's and she had a sister called Mary. He had a sister called what? Mary. Uh -huh. Which also sat at the feet, at Jesus' feet. Uh -huh. And heard his word. Look at that. The one that brought him was not the first to be blessed. But the one they met in the house. Martha was the one that brought Jesus. But when she brought her, she was so busy bedabbling her sauce in what? Cooking. Not in your fancy or trim, maybe on their yak cantos, not their butt quantum pine. And he came to Jesus. Continue. Yes, but she Martha came. was cumbered about much seven. Ah. And came to him and said, hey, after one, he came and said, Lord. No. Does thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Be her therefore that she help me. Jesus, I know you are a righteous man. But for you to have allowed the way I'm suffering, look at the way I'm sitting. Then my sister is here. She's a lazy type. Always. The, you see, even when you are here, she's doing it. And I, I, I'm offended. You should have told her. You come and help me so that we can serve you. Like, listen to Jesus. And Jesus answered and uh -huh. said unto him, uh -huh. Martha, Martha. You will never stop careful. being Martha. <laughs> you will always be Martha. <laughs> always occupy his things. Amen. Martha, Martha. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. Thou art careful and troubled about many Thou things. Trouble about many, many things. But there is only one thing that is needful. But one thing is needful. And Mary yes. has chosen that Mary way. Has chosen that way. No we shall not take that away from her. Wow. The day you die, who will take your, your fridge? Mm. There's only one thing that you have, nobody take it away from you. Mm. And that is your reward. My God. My God. Your faith in Christ. Am I talking to somebody? So, when you say, you know, you're going to be sick, I was one day you're going to be away. In Ecclesiastes 2 18, I was saying,
<laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I hated my labor because I I'm talking about because I should leave it unto a man that shall be after me. And who knows? No way. Whether he shall be a wise man or a foolish or a fool. He shall just rule. But give me a map from when you know. I don't know any other rule. What was that like a more trick? I don't know what you do. I don't know what you throw away. Man and man, you might be great. I don't know what this house that I built. I put so much gold and this thing under it. Immediately I die, break it. You the hold it down, take the gold, divide it to all the children, build better houses. But this house, let it go. When they broke it down and they died, <laughs> and they brought the box, if written, go and build your own. <laughs> Oh, he said, a wicked man. He doesn't want them to stay in the house after he's gone. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he went there and he got, now he has gotten matter and who? Mary, Mary. Got later marriage, a matter changed. And Martha became a student of the Bible. When we read it, we saw it. But he didn't stop there. The story continues in John 11. 1. The story continues in John 11. 1. He did not only get Mary Martha, he got their brother, their only brother. Wow. Let's continue already. Oh. In the beginning was the word 11. 1. 11. 1. John 11. 1. Uh huh. Now a certain man was sick. Uh huh. Named Lazarus. Of course. Of Bethany. Uh huh. The town of Mary and his sister Martha. Uh huh. It was that Mary, Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment. I wanted to keep it. The one anointed the, the Lord, Lord with Lord. ointment. Uh -huh. And wiped his feet with her hair. Uh -huh. Whose brother Lazarus was sick. So, and they said, the Lord, they said, so, so, something. Therefore, the sister said unto me, and said, Lord, behold, the, he whom thou lovest is sick. So, it, then later, Jesus came to love their brother also. So, those who think that he loved only the women. He loved their brother as much as he loved the woman. And the woman knew that Jesus dearly loved their brother. Wow. Not only their brother did he love their father as well. Because their father was the one who threw a party. He was a leper. Amen. Amen. Gen uh, uh, Matthew 26, verse 6. That is their father. Matthew 26, verse 6. He got everybody in the house. He got everybody in the house. Now, when Jesus was in Bethany, uh -huh. in the house of Simon the leper. Okay, their father was Simon the leper. When he go down, verse 7, he said that in that house was when the daughter or the woman who came Then came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious. Okay, we don't have time to read all. But that is what it is. And so when he was saying that if this man is a prophet, he would have known that this is my daughter. This woman. She's my daughter. I know how he prostitutes in this house. He was speaking out of. He knew who that daughter was. But Jesus said that because he done it for the gospel, anywhere the gospel will be preached, her name will be mentioned. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number seven. Are you following me? Yes. Are we learning? Yes. Sir. Come on, are we learning? Yes. Higher. Point number seven. The Zoe message. Wow. The Zoe message. Zoe. I said ten things to know that will arouse your passion for missions. The Zoe message. You have to know about the Zoe, Zoe message. Turn your Bible to John 5, 24 to 26. John 5, 24. And the reason why I gave you this book. The reason why I gave you this book, the messenger book, you will find the Zoe message at the middle. Yeah. The Zoe message at the middle. Amen. Glory. Okay, let's read together. Ready, go. Very, very, I say unto you, uh -huh. he that heareth my word yes. and believeth on him that sent me uh -huh. has everlasting life. Ah, bah. Everybody say, he that believes, he that believes. has. 
Yes. So believing means having power. You will never believe that you will not have. He that believe has. It's a powerful revelation. He that believe has. So if you know you have believed, then you have. So those who believe in the I'm going to have. He that believe has. Amen. So he that believe my words and the words of he that sent me has what? So when you believe, what will you have? What is the evidence that shows you a child of God? What is everlasting life? The life of God. Do you know that the church has preached this wrong message for many years? This everlasting life is a life we shall live in heaven forever. So everlasting life shall be caught in when we go to heaven. We shall have everlasting life. Wrong. There are four types of lives on earth. The life of the animal, the life of the plant, the life of the human. There are three immediate ones. The life of what? Animal. 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 The life of plants and the life of human. Do you know that the life in the animal is higher than the life in the tree? Yes. Because the tree cannot walk. Mm. I have not seen trees that walk before unless they are witches with trees. Amen. Amen. No matter how powerful a tree is, it will not work. The animals work. But human beings are powerful than animals. Animals that are not intelligent, even God gave them four legs to show that they are not intelligent. If you give them two, they, they will crash. The human being is so intelligent. They say that everything with two legs is dangerous. Bicycle, go to everything. The man is not dangerous. He is intelligent. He can run and not fall. He can look at walking on these two legs. I can even bear and do things. Yet I will not fall. Let the animal try it with two legs. You will see what will happen. God said, be saved with fall. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. So animals, then there is a higher life above all these three. And it's called the life of God. Higher. Which is called everlasting life. Mm. The Greek says Zoe. Zoe. And anytime you spell that, you go to the Greek and it says Zoe. It writes behind it. Zoe is the life of God now in man. Uh, the life of God now in man. Uh, Amen. Amen. Somebody says Zoe. Zoe. It's the life of God. Now amen. amen. And that life comes from the gospel. They that believe in the gospel who have a lasting life. Don't twist it for God so Lord that whether he gives only God in some. And whosoever believes in will not perish but will have something. What is it? And so that's the life of God. If you have the DNA of God, you are a child of God because my father lied. Son. Son. Okay, let's read. Ready go. Ready for another continue. Very, very, I say unto you that he that heareth my word mm -hmm. and believeth on him that sent me uh -huh. has everlasting life. Yes. And shall not come into condemnation. Okay, anybody that has the Zoe life cannot come into condemnation. Because it is too late. A man who has come into life can never go back into death. That life can never die. It cannot be supplanted. That is what one said. Everything. Everlasting life, when it comes into you, you have been brought into the divinity. divinity. Second Peter 1 3 says that, and ye are now partakers of the divine nature. nature. It's too late. Having come into the divinity, you can't go back. Amen. Continue, only because of the mother. But it's part of death to life. <laughs> it has passed from what? Death to life. Oh, I wish you know. There are two spiritual lives. One is death, the life of the devil. One is life, the life of God. There's only one word when you add to it to be sens sensible. And that is eternal death and eternal life. Eternal life is the life of the devil. Eternal death is the eternal death is the life of